She's been living with corgis since she was a small child, but for Queen Elizabeth, receiving this one, Susan, was the start of something historic. Susan was a gift on her 18th birthday in 1944 and the ancestor of each of more than 30 corgis the Queen has owned since. But a bloodline of 14 generations is coming to an end. The Queen's last living corgi, Willow, has died, put to sleep because of cancer at age 15. Elizabeth is said to be heartbroken. Ready? Other corgi owners can relate. Woo. It's a sad thing, but I understand why she decided not to breed anymore because she said that she didn't want any dogs to outlive her because who would take them? Corgis are considered devoted family pets, alert and just loud enough to warn their owners of trouble. The queen was known to feed and care for them personally. Their connection is so tight, a corgi was even depicted on this coin marking her golden jubilee. For a while, the corgi's image sagged, seen as a breed for the elderly and the wealthy. But this Netflix series has made it more popular, allowing the Kennel Club to take it off the list of British dog breeds at risk. Prince Harry recently said he knew his grandmother would approve of Meghan Markle when the dogs took a shine to her. The Queen still has two dogs. They are called Dorgies, a cross between a corgi and a dachshund, a breed she's trying to develop, still pioneering at the age of 91. Ross Lord, Global News.